Oh, there we go. So I just wrote a book. It's about history, but I think it has something to say about today. So that's, it's called Classroom Wars, and it's a study of the emergence of and fights over Spanish bilingual education and sex education in the 1960s and 70s. What could this tell us about today? Well, for many of us, when we think about diversity and education, the main images that come to mind are these, white people resisting African Americans coming into schools. This is for good reason, because black-white desegregation has been and continues to be one of the central challenges that we deal with. However, my question was, what if we thought about diversity more broadly? What if we thought about diversity of sexuality, of language, of ethnicity? And what if we concerned ourselves not only with, going, with getting into the school doors, but about with what happens in classrooms. Once you do that, I found out, you come up with some really interesting stuff. And here's just a taste of it. On this side, the first one, you have a school in San Francisco in 1969 that decided to be a little bit more culturally sensitive. They knew they had a lot of Latino kids, so they thought, well, why don't we put a sombrero on Santa Claus? <laughs> That's what that looks like. And there's a deeper story to that. You have another case, and that picture was hidden in the archives. No one, I think, had seen it until I took it out and published it. Then the second one, this is a, what was called a continuation school in 1971 in California. This one was in a Life magazine feature, a result in many ways of acknowledging sexual diversity. Girls get pregnant. Girls have sex in schools. Let's not hide them away anymore. Let's start a special program for them. But wait, we've still got to keep them kind of separate. So the reason that I bring up these two little, I think, arresting images are because as we enter into especially the 2016 election, issues of reproductive rights, of um, homophobia, of uh, all kinds of issues of sexual diversity remain very present, as do issues of linguistic diversity, immigration, demographics, some of which my fellow speakers have talked about today. So hopefully this little slice of history will help not only illuminate our past, but shape our future. Thank you. Thank you.